Hello YouTube, this is the second video in our HTML5 Canvas animation tutorial series. In this video we're basically just going to be um, working with dynamic uh, shape um, sizing while, while an object is moving. Um, so basically in the last video we got set up with an onload function that defined our canvas in context and a loop that called itself and inside that we incremented a variable and moved an arc along the very uh, based on that variable. Um, we moved the arc x and y values based on that variable. So we're gonna in this video we're gonna be moving an object um, from a starting point, um, which will be 50, or a starting size, uh, and that will be 50. I guess we don't really need a variable for it, so we'll just say 50 down here. And then we're going to be subtracting um, 50 divided by the number. Basically, we're going to have a set number of frames that we're downsizing this object from um, 50 pixels with a radius of 50 pixels to a radius of 0 pixels. And um, we're going to uh, divide divide 50 by that number so that we get an, um, a unit that is in between 0 or yeah just a unit that um, is 50 divided by the number of frames that we want it to take the, the amount of time we want it to take and then um, we are going to multiply that by i so which i is the number of seconds gone by so we do 50 divided by say 120 frames um, let's change our frames for a second up here to 30. And then um, we're going to do 50 divided by 120 times i. So um, if we run that, our little ball gets smaller and smaller. Um, so we can change this by changing this number here. This will make it slower. And another thing we can do is use an if statement and say if i is less than 180 and do this. Otherwise, um, well, we have to do a starting point actually. We have to do, like, um, this only works if we want to make it stop downsizing at a certain size. If we want to stop downloading at, say, 20 pixels radius we would divide that number by 180, we divide 30 by 180, um, and then multiply that by i, and then subtract that from the starting point here. So, And if we didn't want it to downsize after 20, then we would just say 20 here. So basically what's happening is while the f while less than 180 frames have gone by, it's going to be downsizing, and then once it hits 180 frames, it'll just stay at 20. Let's see? So we can speed that up because it's kind of slow. Um, the reason why I wanted variables was if you want to change the starting and ending point, you have to change all the 50s and change all the 20s um, rather than just changing two variables. But um, if you are, end up using this, you should probably do it with variables. All right, so you see how that works. We start at an, a certain point. Um, another thing we could do is, is um, say if i is greater than one, like if i is greater than 50, and i is less than 100, um, and then draw it at the beginning size up until then, up until 50 has gone by. Here, we don't need that yet. We'll say if i is less than 50, extra thing here, sorry, then we want to draw it at size 50, radius 50. Okay, so 
for the first 50 frames it's going to be size 50. And we had a little jump there. Um, times i minus 50. And this 50 number is coming from this. So if this was 60, this would have to be 60. Basically, we want i to start at 0 when we downsize it. There we go. And that didn't quite work. Um, okay, we have to make this number of frames correspond also. So this has to be 100 minus 60. Okay, so um, I'm going to set up variables really quick just so that that's a little more um, clear. So this is going to be starting point variable, which is going to be 50. Um, start, starting point variable 2, which is going to be our finishing point, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to have the number of frames that it will be um, animating for. So var animating one is going to be for the first 60 frames but our animating two is going to be for the um, neck, how long we want it to be uh, getting smaller for and then yeah okay so this is going to be a1 this is going to be a1 plus a2 which makes a hundred this is going to be s1 this is going to be s2 this is going to be S1, this is going to be S1, this is going to be S2, this is going to be A2, and this is going to be A1. Alright, so let's give that a go. Save it. And it works just like it did before. So now we can kind of mess with these. Um, We'll up the frames per second just so that we don't have to wait so long every time. And we'll make our starting size 100. Um, we're going to make it animate for maybe 100 milliseconds. And uh, yeah, that should be good. Okay. Looking good. Alright, so that's it for this video. In the next one, we're going to be working with um, animating an object from one point to another, um, like from a given point, and we're going to kind of be using vectors for that, or vector, um, a, that kind of concept. Um, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.